and then the closure. from here at the YMCA's Downtown Writers Center. Uh, if you are new to us, I hope you'll take a moment at the end to uh, not just buy books, which you should totally do. You should seriously totally do, because on the back of Arthur's book, it says $29.95, and he's selling it for 15 bucks tonight. For God's sake, people, <laughs> buy the book. Um, but also, there's our mailing list at the back. And you know we have between 25 and 30 visiting authors here at the Y every year, everything from first-time authors to Pulitzer Prize winners. And you guys should be here. Yeah. So check it out and make sure you get on our mailing list. Um, tonight's reading is made possible with public funds from the New York State Council on the Arts Estate Agency, Onondaga County, CNY Arts. We thank them all for their support. Um, next Friday, poet Delana Dameron will be here. Uh, she is absolutely stellar. Uh, her newest book is called Weary Kingdom. Um, next Friday, same time, same place. Uh, two weeks from now, um, we will be here for the launch of Stone Canoe, episode 12. Uh, Stone Canoe is a, a journal that was originally published by University College um, at SU, but is now published by the Downtown Writers Center. And uh, we're really excited about this new issue. It has, among other things, uh, not just tons of great poems, plays, fiction, nonfiction, uh, but an interview with Diane Ackerman. So lots of cool stuff coming up in that issue which uh, we will be premiering on March 2nd. It'll be wine too, guys, so, you know, wine. Um, we have lots of other stuff coming up uh, later in March and also in the spring, among them poet Jan Beatty, uh, who is a rock star um, and uh, just fantastic. Um, I am I'm unreasonably excited to have Arthur Flowers here tonight. Uh, and Arthur told me before the reading that he was gonna have a guitarist with him, but I didn't know it was Sean Connery, uh, who is, you know, occasional Downtown Writer Center faculty, wonderful poet whose newest book is also on sale tonight, which I had the pleasure to blurb, uh, you know, within the past few months. Uh, wonderful, wonderful poet with a remarkable, complicated book of poems. Um, so uh, delighted to have him here with us as well in a different role than usual. And delighted to have Arthur back with us after uh, way, way too long since his last reading here at the Y. Um, and our first reading here in our new space, and hopefully it will not be right. so long before next time. Um, <coughs> Arthur is a novelist, essayist, and performance poet. He's a native of Memphis, Tennessee, and the authors of the no novels Another Good Loving Blues and Demojo Blues, a children's book called Cleveland Lee's Beale Street Band, a memoir, Manifesto Mojo Rising, Confessions of a 21st Century Conjure Man, and a graphic nonfiction book called I See the Promised Land. He's a founding member and director of the New, York, New Re Renaissance Writers Guild in New York City, The Grio Shop, Memphis, and the Pan-African Literary Forum. He's been an executive director of the Harlem Writers Guild and a recipient of grants from both the NEA and NIFA uh, in fiction and nonfiction. His newest book is Br'er Rabbit Retold. He teaches here in town at SU, of course. Um, in the most recent, uh, the current issue of Stone Canoe, um, we have a great nonfiction piece by Arthur, and there's this wonderful little passage that really hit home with me that I want to read to you before he kicks things off, which uh, is about halfway through his piece. Um, I once in conversation with playwright Aisha Rahman mentioned that I wanted to be the greatest novelist ever lived. She said, no Art, that's not what you want. You want to sing your song the best you can sing it. That way you can appreciate other folk singing theirs. That's what it's about, that's what it's about. And we get to hear Arthur sing tonight and I'm very grateful and excited uh, to hear what he's got in store for us. Arthur Flowers and Sean. 